may that may not really be what I want to do. I don't necessarily want to project it associatively from one part to another. So I'm going to undo that. And the, the trick here is when you use project geometry, if you hold down the control key, you'll notice that I can now come in and do much the same thing. We'll select some of these edges. And instead of it projecting these as an adaptive edge, it's not, uh, it's not making an adaptive sketch. And I believe this part was already adaptive, so maybe this is a bad example. Oh, no, it's not. Um, so it's not automatically making it adaptive, and it's not adapting any of the geometry. So it's just projecting it over as static geometry, so that from there, if you wanted to pick and drag it around, you could and make modifications. Um, so with that, that's, uh, that's one of the tips. Oftentimes when I'm working in an assembly editing a part, I project something, it's adaptive, I have to undo it or turn the adaptivity off on the part. And we went through some of the adaptive uh, enhancements, or not enhancements, but capabilities last podcast. So if you're not familiar with what adaptivity is, you may want to take a look at that one. But um, in some cases, it's great to be able to project this geometry, keep it adaptive, and move forward. But this is a really quick way to, to not have to worry about that. All right, so then let's go into our final tip. I'm just going to return up. And let's get out of, uh, of this particular part. Now let's say that we'll take this, this part, and I'm going to delete all the constraints from this part. So let's just come into the different constraints. We'll get rid of them. So I can just drag this around. And one of the, the tips I use oftentimes when I'm working in an assembly is G allows me to, if I select a part and hit G, I can just orbit it and kind of position it in a way that I can see faces easier. This is a nice way to start out when I'm constraining something to just kind of to get some of those faces that I want. Now, if I want to constrain this in place, one of the things that you may often find is you start the constraint dialog and you tell it what type of constraint and all those types of things. But there is a way to do this without going into the constraint dialog. If, you'll, if you hold down the Alt key, you'll notice that you can click and drag, say, a face, drag over to another face. It's giving me the mate icon let up, and I can see there that it's actually putting a mate constraint now between those two components. So let's back up here. We'll undo that so it's uh, back to the original position. What if we wanted a center to center? What if I wanted to constrain it to the center of this shaft? We may want to turn a visibility off there so we can see the shaft a little better. But if I grab my Alt key, you'll notice it's doing insert. Now there are some different options through the, the ribbon behavior. Um, there, there are some changes that in the past, you could hit I and it would cycle over to an insert constraint. Right now, it's going to a tangent, something that we're looking at. But depending on what you select, you can actually get different types of geometry. So if I just grab that edge, you'll notice that it gets an insert. If I move it over to that edge, it's inserted there. And then if we wanted to, to add a flush or another constraint, we could do that as well. So the great thing about it, you just hold down the Alt key, grab the face or the edge that you want to constrain and move it over to the area that you want to constrain it and it'll snap it in place. Now this may not always work and it may not give you every constraint possible but if you're just trying to do some some real quick dynamic constraints um, when I say dynamic there aren't particular types of constraints that are dynamic but uh, if you just want to add constraints to your model without going into the, the, const the constraint dialog this is a very quick and easy way to be able to do that. So hopefully this was beneficial. Uh, with that, we've hit some of the general enhance or the, the general tips and tricks uh, around sketch environment, the, the dragging of the arc, the tangency, parts, the inline work features, control to project edges with adaptivity or without, and then using the, the Alt key to click and drag components to constrain them in place. So hopefully that was beneficial. I have received some feedback that um, there are various individuals that want to be able to see some advanced surface creation and a few other things. So in the, the future podcast, is something that I anticipate on doing. Uh, as always, if there are certain things that you'd like to see, let me know, and I'll see if I can work that in. And with that, until next time, over and out.